Hey guys, welcome to Jen's Creativity Corner. Today I am going to show you a variety of fun things for a Harry Potter themed party. We've got decorations, we've got activities, and we've got treats. So the first thing here, we have got a ticket. This was a party that a friend and I put together for another friend's daughter. We made these tickets for each of them. And of course, what will they use that ticket for? Well, platform nine and three quarters, of course. So to make the brick barrier, this is just a simple car washing sponge, can be found at the Dollar Tree, and then cutting it so it is in a brick shape using just cheap red paint and a cheap white picnic table cutting down the center. And that's a fun little entryway, just stuck up with thumbtacks. Next thing here, greeting them. First on our left, we have ties, so that way they can sort themselves into the house that they want. These are just felt, cut, and hot glue. And then on the back, to secure it, are these cheap little, again, Dollar Tree barrettes, hair barrettes, to just snap them into place on top of their shirts. And then also, they've got to have wands, don't they? But they don't get to choose which one they want because naturally the wand chooses the wizard. So these are kind of a little blind bag thing. My friend decorated the box. I did most of the actual wrapping of these with some little twine and the seals. I'll show you how I made those. But honestly, this is probably one of my favorite parts of it. I just thought they were so super cute. So the seals, I'm actually just using hot glue. I found it much easier and probably more affordable than actually using the wax intended for these. But on the back of a baking sheet, put the hot glue, set down the stamp, let it cool, and then it comes off super easy. Now, these are just clear and you can see little bubbles and stuff, but make sure you add enough glue so that you get that little bit of overage so you get the kind of blob off to the side so it looks authentic. And then honestly, once I was done with these, I spray painted them and then hot glued them onto the twine, onto the bags where we wrapped all of them. I did not film us making all of the wands, but just wanted to show you the variety that they had to uh, be surprised from, I guess. I can't really say they chose from them, but we had tons of fun. And I do have some ideas that I want to do of showing how to make wands. If you're interested, definitely leave a comment, give this a thumbs up, and uh, let me know which one of these is your favorite. So we've got two sets here. Try to make some a little more natural looking, variety of colors. Most of it is hot glue and acrylic paint. We've got some small beads, we've got some clay, um, half marbles, so a good variety of things, some craft wire, just really going to town with our creativity. Talking about decorations, I did make a couple of sorting hats, neither of them were perfect, but it was a fun experiment. You can of course use the house color streamers. And then the first thing here, we are going to hang from the ceiling these cute little keys with wings on them. Those are made by Silver Pipe Cleaners. And the keys themselves I bought on Amazon. I will link down to my shop and everything down below. But you will want lots of clear push pins for this. And uh, these guys on fishing wire went up. Next thing also hanging from the ceiling is the candles. These were hung over the dining room table where the refreshments were to make these just a toilet paper tube. The wax strip is hot glue. On the bottom you get that cloudiness. That's just a little like batting fluff. There is a wire in there that keeps the candle from falling down. And then of course fishing line again to hang it. It does look more stunning of course in a darker area but just that fun little extra thing. Next thing, also hanging from the ceiling, is the invitations. Now, we sent the tickets as physical invitations, but these were fun, just one sheet of paper, and we actually drew on the lines. And I actually did use the wax, sealing wax on these, but just a whole bunch coming out from our fireplace. So if you have a fireplace, might as well use it. And then you might see to the right there, we have got a Christmas tree up, which this was actually filmed a couple years ago. I did year round themed trees. So definitely check that out. I have a video up already of a Harry Potter themed tree. You can see all the little deco and other holidays and seasonal stuff too. Now moving on to activities, we made masks for each child and that matched 
the house that they picked for their tie. And instead of pin the tail on the donkey, we are playing Oculus Reparo. So this was all just free handed by my friend. And I think it was brilliant. You can see Harry's got his broken glasses there and just a little bit of tape on the back and they are trying to take care of it. So they put on their blindfolds and I covered up the names since these are not to my children, but you can see kind of where they all landed on trying to repair Harry's glasses. So heading into the backyard, which we put up these little banner things, we have a game of basically cornhole. It is free Dobby and they can compete. I had this big old box, really sturdy, that I think had shelves in it. So we cut that on a diagonal, so it gave us that angle. Again, just cheap Dollar Tree black tablecloth wrapped around and stapled in place and then painted on there the picture of Dobby and the free Dobby message. And some cheap socks do the trick and they can take those home as well. Now the next thing here is playing Quidditch. So we've got PVC, we've got PVC T, and then that joins hula hoops. Again, Dollar Tree for the hula hoops. The rest was, you know, hardware store. But you set up three on each side, got them across the yard from each other, and then they have balloons. Now, it was a little breezy, but even if it wasn't, my recommendation we learned, because the balloons just kept running away way too easily, is we ended up putting in a few kernels of, I don't know, dried beans or popcorn kernels or something. That weighs it down just a little bit, so it's still easy to bat back and forth but not so much that it's just gonna fly away and you can't actually get it in the goals. The next outdoor activity is another one that was designed solely by my friend. She makes awesome pinatas. She would totally do great doing her own channel, but we have got, of course, Dementor here, and he's got some goodies stuffed inside of him. My dog was not so sure how she felt about him, but the kids sure enjoyed beating the devil out of him. And inside of him, we have some treats and prizes, but also some little ping pong balls that I put numbers on. And those coordinated to a basket of bigger toys that we got relatively inexpensively that were inside when we met back inside. Now on to the treat. Would it be a Harry Potter birthday party without a Hagrid birthday cake? It can look ugly. That's the beauty of it. It's supposed to. So that was the individual one for the birthday girl. And then we made cake pops with the different colors for different houses. They look frumpy. I was frazzled. I hate making cake pops, they're a nightmare. Here's the rest of the spread of the table and I'll show you a little closer what we've got here, but some fun deco. My friend really loves Halloween, so she already had some of that. Now this chocolate here, we experimented with the recipe so much and I'll try to link down to it below if I can find it. I think it was listed as lemon sherbet or disturbert, something like that. And it uses a combination of citric acid to give like a fizziness to it. And we also did some Pop Rocks. It made for some very, very sour chocolate. Um, it was weird, it was fun. You definitely couldn't eat a lot at once, but it was fun to try. And then for beverage, we've got some lime sherbet and Sprite. And that is, I don't remember what we called it, Polyjuice Potion? Could be troll bogeys, I don't know. And then for the Brave, we had some, well, these are just the, uh, what are the Jelly Belly brand, but the equivalent of Birdie Bots for the Brave who are willing to try something potentially horrific. So that was the birthday party, lots of ideas. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite and please, please do share this on Pinterest, Facebook, anywhere else and make sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a great day.